guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just wanted to share with you some of my favorite bronzers since it is summertime. Um, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite bronzers for fair skin. Unfortunately, when you have fair skin, if it even has the slightest amount of orange in it, it will look orange on your skin and you will look like an oompa loompa. Undertone is everything, blendability of the bronzer and wear time on the bronzer or the ability for the bronzer to wear for a long time is very important to me. And I wanted to share these things because it very can very easily turn into a muddy orange disaster on your face. So these are just a few of my favorites. A lot of them are pretty heavily talked about, but I just wanted to shoot out a video of this, letting you guys know what are some of my favorites as somebody who is fair complected. Jumping right into one of my favorites, I really enjoy the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked. Um, this always looks very beautiful on my skin. It's always very creamy and blendable on the skin. Although it may look like it would have more of a, it's more got a yellow undertone, but it can look a little orange on the skin. But once you blend it in, I have it on today. I actually have it on today layered with this, kind of set it a little bit. Um, this makeup look that you see here today, I'm doing a video, kind of a wear test if you will, just to show you, but this is my sweat proof makeup. So in order to lock this all in, I did do an extra step with a bronzer. Um, so I just did a little bit of dusting of this on top, but, um, and this is one of my favorites, but it just looks so natural on the skin. I feel like the undertone of this is excellent. The blendability of this is excellent. Now this is sold at Sephora. It is a little pricey, but this should last you almost your whole lifetime, being that this is one ounce of product. I This is, I think, a year of use on this one. I think I got this last summer. And I just, I'm in love. I love this. This has to be my favorite. If I didn't have this, these bronzers that I, that I have, if one of them, I just had one deserted island, I might pick this one. It would be really hard to choose between this one and my next favorite for powder. Um, is the Too Faced um, Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. That's my favorite. Unfortunately, mine busted and I was trying to buy one for this video, but it's like sold out everywhere. But that is probably the best, softest, beautiful formula, excellent undertone. It just looks beautiful on the skin. It's almost got a little bit more of a contoury kind of shade, at least for my complexion. That one's really great. It is high end, um, so it is a pricey, I think at $32 but those two are my top favorites as far as high end goes um but i do have some other favorites that i do want to share with you those ones have been at least my favorites over the last year one that's new that i like is the elf putty uh, putty bronzer i do like this one i got mine in the shade I got mine in the shade Honey Drip here. As you can see, the undertone of this is excellent. The only complaint I have is it's hard to get fit brushes in here. Feel there, but the undertone of this, this is kind of like sets down to a little bit of a powder finish on this one, whereas this one is luminous and it stays kind of luminous on here. Um, my swatching kind of sucks, guys, but that's it right here. As you can see, it blends really well, and it is a little more of a matter formula. It does hang out and stick on the skin. It blends really well. I've not had any problems with it. I think some people um, may not like it that much, but I do like it. I just think that the packaging on this is a little hard to get a brush in, but it undertone-wise for fair skin, excellent wear time, excellent blendability, I find to be excellent as well. Another discovery that's new that I really like is the, and this is not supposed to be a bronzer, but we're using them as a bronzer. And this is the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in the shade Deep Caramel. And you guys, this is like really dark, um, but this is not a yellow undertone at all. Um, this definitely gives you that contoured bronzed look for like a super glam look that is really excellent. As you can tell on the undertone of that, um, you will not have to worry about looking orange at all. It just makes your skin look snatched, if you will. Um, it blends very well into the skin and I find it to be 
pretty the wear time on it is not the longest but it seems to be pretty average as far as that goes um and i think that it's supposed to be a dupe for the um the charlotte tilbury um bronze wand or bronzer and i haven't tried that but i think that is excellent if charlotte tilbury is the same quality i just don't see a reason to run out there and go buy hers really Another high-end one that I like um, and wanted to mention is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. That's the shade right there. This is more of a little bit of a drier formula, but not nearly as dry um, as the e.l.f. one. This one will also kind of set to a powder finish. Um, it doesn't really keep too much of a luminosity, but it's somewhere in between the Milk Bronzer luminosity factor and the e.l.f. It's like in between. The e.l.f. is probably the mattest cream bronzer that we have. I would say that the e.l.f. one would be perfect for probably all skin types. Um, you probably have to be careful with the Milk one if you do have oily skin because it is more of a dewier finish, but for some reason it can still stick on the skin pretty well. I also like the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. Um, it's pretty good for the drugstore um, and I think this is like a cult favorite uh, for many years but this one has a beautiful 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 undertone very buttery never makes your skin look at all like it has been through the mud or that you wiped mud on your face it's got the really beautiful undertone um, that many years ago the drugstore didn't have so I'm very pleased with this Milani one one that I really like that's high-end is the NARS Laguna bronzer this one is very good as well I think you guys can probably see a theme that a lot of these pretty much are about the same shade this one here is got a little bit of like i guess you would say like a gold sheen to it so it's a little more luminous not as matte um but it's still very beautiful very blendable um you can make this if you use the right br brush you can make this look very seamless on the skin um and i really like that it's not too much i like that you can as you can see as i'm swatching it that is very buildable and sometimes the bronzer especially if you're newer at bronzing that is perfect i don't necessarily know that i've seen too much of the drugstore that's like this um and you know what if you do splurge on something like this for like your birthday or christmas or just cuz you will have this forever you are not going to go through this like too fast i don't think as well at least for me i have a lot of bronzers obviously but i feel like that should last you a while but i just feel like it's seamless on the skin and i do like that it's buttery and it makes it look very natural on the skin so i do really enjoy that one as well another newer one is this juvia's place bronzer um these have a bronzer for everybody not all these brands it come out fenty's really good about it um but a lot of these brands don't necessarily uh these elf putty bronzers as well have come out with um a bronzer for everybody so i'm glad that that's the new way of doing things but um juvia's place obviously included everybody and i have mine in the shade light this top one is my favorite this bottom one here is a little too orange for me but i'm mostly talking about this top one um and this one here would be like I hate to say it, but this is like super duper blendable. It's almost like the NARS um, one, but this is matte and a little lighter, but this would be, this would be my favorite blush for winter, or I'm sorry, my favorite bronzer for winter, but that's it right there. Very blendable, kind of light, but exactly what I want um, when I want a natural bronzer for like winter time. That would be my winter time favorite. Well, last but not least is the Wet n Wild Strip Tease Bronzer. This is supposed to be, I think, a dupe for the Nagar Nars Laguna Bronzer. I'm going to put that one up here. This one is too very buildable. It does have a pretty decent sheen to it, and I'd say that this is lighter. It is lighter than the Nars one, but still the same. Very sheer. It does have a very lumin luminous finish to it. Very buildable, very natural on the skin. I absolutely love this one. This one here 
I think is not talked about enough, but a very excellent bronzer as well. That's really my lineup that I really wanted to share with you guys. All of these are fair skin approved bronzers at all different types of price points. I think if you pick up one of these and you're interested in purchasing a bronzer, you should be fairly happy at the blendability, the color and the shade of these um, bronzers are excellent. I say you pick up one and you would be good to go for the summer if you're not already. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys like this kind of content, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like me, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. I really appreciate you spending time with me today and watching my video. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.